also with uh, Pallet Air 88 B money. I should really just pick one and stick with it. I'm just gonna start B money. I'm, I'm B money. I'm, I'm not gonna refer to myself as Pallet Air 88 anymore. I was about to start a new channel. No, fuck that. I'm not starting a new channel. That's too much work. Anyway, today I'm gonna show off uh, all of my concert movies because I rewatched a couple of them last night. It got me in the mood. And I want to see what your guys' favorites are, so post a video response if you're so inclined, I'd appreciate that. Or just leave a comment saying which is your favorite. So I'm going to start off with two, well, yeah, I'll just start off. I got two VHSs and the rest are DVDs. Uh, these first two, the VHSs, it took me forever to find. I'm a huge Marilyn Manson fan, so, and they haven't been released on DVD to my knowledge. And so I hunted these down like, like fucking stuff you hunt down. Uh, this first one, God is in the TV. It's a collection of all his music videos up until the Mechanical Animals era. And it's got some uh, concert footage from the last tour on Earth. I think that was the tour they did from Mechanical Animals. And some backstage footage. Really cool stuff. What I like about this DVD is it says nothing, as in nothing records which was a part of Interscope that was run by Trent Reznor of Nine Inch Nails back then. It doesn't exist anymore, obviously, because both Manson and Trent Reznor have split from Interscope. Because, I guess, Interscope sucks these days. Uh, the other one is the Dead to the World concert. This is a tour of him when he was on the Antichrist Superstar tour. Pretty cool stuff. That's got a quote from on the back I didn't notice. Society has traditionally always tried to find scapegoats for its problems. Well, here I am, Marilyn Manson, October 1996. Alright, uh, next is my DVD of Guns, God, and Government. Probably my favorite concert DVD. Right up there. This is with the Guns, God, and Government tour, which is for the uh, Hollywood album. And yeah, it's, it's a great concert of the show. It's probably got my favorite Marilyn Manson lineup with Twiggy and John Five and uh, Pogo. Pogo's still with them back then. And uh, yeah, it's got some really good uh, it's got a good documentary called uh, The Death Parade. Really cool stuff. Great set list too. Up next we have uh, Children of Bodom, Stockholm Knockout, Chaos Ridden Years. The concert's really awesome. And the uh, on the road video they do is pretty cool too. You can see Lux Vallejo throw up a few times, slap each other. Yep. Oh, it's also got music videos. Yep. Yeah, the Chaos Ridden Years documentary is pretty good too. Up next, oh man, this thing got demolished. I think Lucas did this. But it's the Kill Switch Engage Set This World Ablaze DVD. Yep. Another really good concert. I'm a big Killswitch Engage fan. One of the few metalcore bands I actually like. And uh, this case just got destroyed. So this DVD has all the band's videos, a uh, 70 minute concert, and uh, behind the scenes footage. It's got a pretty good documentary called Set This World Ablaze about them, you know, from start and up until this point. I believe this came out before uh, As Daylight Dies, because I don't think it has any of the songs from it on the concert. So up until uh, End of Heartache, that era. Next, I think any horror movie fan or uh, music fan should have this. That's Alice Cooper's Welcome to My Nightmare. Just a great stage show. Really cool shit. Probably the best performance of Only Women Bleed I've ever heard. Up next, this one's in competition with the Marilyn Manson DVD, it's my favorite, and that's Gorillaz, Demon Dates Live. We're just talking concerts, it's on par with Marilyn Manson, but the DVD doesn't have anything extra, it's just the show, so I guess Manson wins on that one. But this is a really good concert. Really love the Gorillaz. Demon Days is probably one of my favorite albums of all time, too. It's up there with Mechanical Animals by Marilyn Manson. Next... Uh, we have John 5, The Devil Knows My Name. This is actually a guitar instruction DVD. But it's more than that, it's really weird. 
It's uh, him performing songs off his solo album, The Devil Knows My Name, but it's also got these weird cuts of, like, David Lynch-esque horn things. It's like topless chicks with pig masks crawling around on each other. It's got this weird guy showing up randomly and attacking women who kind of, who's supposed to be the devil. And it's got this one little video in there, and it's supposed to be uh, John 5 getting his first guitar at age 7, and making it, well he doesn't make a deal that, it's hard to explain. Uh, I would say check it out, but you know, this is something you really only need to get if you really dig John 5 or you're really into guitar, because as you can see right here, it's a bit pricey. Then again, I bought this at Guitar Center, and just about everything at Guitar Center is overpriced. If you can find it for cheap, definitely go for it. Oh, it's produced by, it was put out by Hal Leonard. Yeah, that's the king of sheep music. I didn't know he did DVDs. Up next, this is another one I had to get offline because it's pretty hard to find, only to find out that it wasn't Region 1. And that's the Deer and Gray Withers and Withers DVD. Pretty good concert. At, if I want to watch, I have to watch on the laptop. Go figure. Fucking Toshiba laptop. Yeah, pretty cool stuff. For the longest time, I thought this was a bootleg, but no, that's just how it's made. Got that art too. DVD kind of looks shifty, but it's it's official. Something happened in this case too. Uh, this one's kind of embarrassing, but uh, it's, uh Melissa Cross, the Zen of Screaming. I'll admit, at one time I wanted to learn how to scream, but uh, it just wasn't for me. I couldn't do it. It was too awkward to do them by myself, let alone with anyone near me. But yeah, it's got a lot of cool interviews with uh, people she's worked with, like Randy Bly, people like that. Oh yeah, it comes with a CD too to help you do the exercises. Up next is uh, Roadrunner United, the concert. Really, really good shit. If you're a fan of metal, you need to own this. Yeah, uh, for those that didn't check out the Roadrunner United CD, it was pretty much uh, Roadrunner, the record label, picked uh, four team captains, uh, Joey Jordson, Rob Flynn, Matt G.C., and Dino Cesarez. And they had most of the musicians, if, I guess if they were available, that are on the Roadrunner label. And they would assemble bands and write a song and put on the CD. So it was like super groups all over the place. And then a couple of years later, they did this concert in New York at the Nokia Theater. And it's pretty much just like 40 plus heavy metal stars doing covers and songs off the album. Really good shit right here. Roadrunner United concert. It's also got a documentary where they go to all the people that were at the concert, have them watch the DVD and, you know, say what was going on the whole time. And lastly, uh, Nine Inch Nails, Beside You in Time. Another really good one. I think this one's just a concert. I don't know if there's anything else. I haven't watched it in years. But yeah, really good shit. It was for the NT tour. So yeah. Well, this took longer than I thought it would. But yeah, those are all the concert movies I own. Show me yours. Bye.